But he's thinking about it. Yes, he is. And very impressive. Matt, I'm impressed. BP, I am too. As you can see, the 21 try him again. Now, Dan Stillman keeps telling Paul, hit your marks, hit your marks. Oh, wow. Oh. Eight car on a side. Martin Truex Jr. Wow. Talk to me when you get here. We're coming down pit road, guys. No, you're not. You won't steer. I think he's had enough. All right, go to the garage here, guys. Go over there by a thing. We're gonna fix it. Joey Chitwood stunt show on that one. Wow. He's still trying to get it there, but it's not gonna turn. Comes up on the back of Mike Wasson, 38. Squeezed up into the wall. And Mike obviously had no idea he was on the outside of it. That's a wild ride. Boy, that is unbelievable. Yeah, he just got squeezed in there, and I mean, did it turn that car on its side? Mm, mm. Through the fence, or up along the fence. I don't know how did that thing get run all over? the ride for you. He just wanted to get through, you know, earlier before the race, he just wanted to get through this night. Yep. He was worried about it. I think he's not real happy with the driver of a 38 car. Short tracks all about talent and temper. This will get him a visit to uh, talk with some of the NASCAR Bush officials after the race. Well, we're sure going to be probably feel pretty good to throw that helmet. No. Well. Well, I didn't throw the helmet, but. Go for it. I'm okay. I said the heck with it. I'll go. That'll be nice and air conditioned in there. That'll help him calm down a little bit. Then he'll be looking for a conversation partner after the race. Championship leader pinched into the wall. A wild ride. be an interesting interview when we come back.